Definitely, uh, definitely a death sentence. A death sentence for the city of Cape Coral's real estate market. That's what some local realtors are calling these homes. They're called modular homes. They are pre-built and generally pretty affordable. But critics say they kill property value and hurt the housing market. Four in your corners, Tara Molina first brought us this story months ago, and tonight she's telling us about the newest project and a group's attempt to put an end to it. Tara. Amy, I started following this in September when they were laying the foundation for the first modular home on Kismet. Some people were angry, but this next one on Embers Parkway has Cape residents angrier. It's right near the land planned for the Gateway to the Seven Islands project. And according to the experts I talked to, the values of the homes around it are already plummeting. This is Chuck Brown's picture-perfect Cape Coral home. A canal out back, lush greenery out front. As nice as that house is. And you he tells me he loves it, and he's lived here for years. One of the first houses in the area. But it's the newest house in the area, making him think twice about his investment. I don't think it's a good thing for the neighborhood. A modular home right down the street. I wasn't excited about seeing that. Now that values here are steady, he hopes this doesn't rock the boat. I'm concerned about what will it do for the value. So this is what that guy brought no, to the no, meeting and what the house was supposed to look like. This and I quickly have. found he's not alone. If one came next to my house, I'm sure I'd have to take a substantial loss to sell my home. According to the city's building officials, modular homes will not affect surrounding property value. They can be built anywhere on any lot zoned for a residence. And a state statute limits restrictions that can be placed on them. But this Cape Coral realtor says it's time to change that. He's been requesting the city put a stop to them. It's a travesty for, for the city of Cape Coral. Campaigning against homes like these with a Facebook group. More than 2,000 Cape Coral residents joined. <laughs> This time, he says the location makes this particular home a realtor's nightmare. Embers and Old Burn Store, which is supposed to be the gateway to the city's touted seven islands and the gazillions of dollars and the tourists, so on and so forth. That project's still in the planning stages, but in jeopardy. Jay explaining to me, in his opinion, values here already dropped. The guy next door, I know what his house was worth last week, okay? I know that if he put his house on the market today, that we would have to deeply discount his house in order to sell it. I wasn't able to reach the mayor for a comment, but a Cape Coral City Councilman, Richard Leone, sent me this statement. Quote, it is my hope that the community and council can work with the construction industry to tighten regulations in our city to allow for higher quality design of homes. Live in the studio, Tara Molina. Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you very much, Tara. And we do want to hear from you now. What do you think about these homes being built in the Cape? Love them or leave them? 206 Fox 4, or you can email us when you go to our website, fox4now.com.